this is how we monitor the uh, scrubbing process, a GC analysis. Uh, we will also use the fumoscope for monitoring inside and outside the fumigated area and also let the scrubber exhaust. And then we'll also use low range monitoring using the spectros uh, and MSA. MSA for methyl bromide, the spectros for SF uh, around the same places just mentioned. This is data from a container fumigate um, destruction using methyl bromide. So the point is here is basically to show how fast it works. This was with our uh, 250 gallon system, our largest one. Uh, you can see that at the beginning of scrubbing this container, this was uh, fumigated with logs and this was using about 15 pounds of methyl bromide. So after the fumigation had taken place, we wanted to scrub this container. Uh, this container was about 91 cubic meters, um, which is about 3,200 cubic feet. So after the fumigation had taken place, we had a concentration of at 128. Within about 10 minutes or so, we had gotten that concentration down from 128 to a, a little over 20. Uh, within 50 minutes, it was down to zero, so we had we had done a complete trailer in about 50 minutes. Right after that uh, container scrub, we did one the exact same um, the the exact same size with uh, SF. So back to back, we completed these. Um, it's, we started out with uh, let's see, 14 pounds of SF that was used to fumigate grain commodities. Once it was completed, we turned the scrubber on. It started at 30. Within 10 minutes, we were half of that initial concentration. And then within about 45 minutes or so, we were down to one to zero. And we had um, successfully removed that fumigant out of that uh, container. Uh, now, one thing that you might notice is that it does take a little bit longer to get that extra five or so um, uh, units of, of fumigant out of there. That's just a lot to do with, uh, with desorption of the fumigant from the commodity. Like logs will really absorb a lot of gas and the off-gassing process and whatnot. So it's still off-gassing and we still try to get as much as we can from that um, degassing of the, of the commodities there. Disposal of the scrubbing solution. So once this solution has you know, had repeated use, it depletes and it needs to uh, be replaced. So um, our larger system can do um, 600 to 900 pounds of methyl bromide or SF. Um, so once that has kind of reached that threshold, we can actually add in neutralizing powder. Uh, this kind of brings the scrubbing solution. It lowers it from a high pH to a, to a neutral pH. Um, once that has taken place and has been completed, uh, the local waste management facilities will take that um, pretty, pretty easily. So basically during this neutralizing process, you're creating three equivalents of water um, that's being produced. Um, also small, uh, small amounts of a short chain alcohol and a bromide salt. And um, if you're using SF, a lot of fluoridic acid derivative is also produced. But that's all maintained within the solution and is uh, non-hazardous. So in summary, uh, we've been using the scrubbing system um, for actually uh, three years now. Uh, we started out in 2010, that's kind of when we were starting out, getting things figured out still. Um, in 2011, we started scrubbing um, a lot of our fumigations that take place here at our, at our facilities. And in 2012, we tried to uh, scrub everything that, that, come, that would come through Westfield here. So uh, we're, we're going to continue research on improving the scrubbing process and um, also, also capturing destruction of uh, phosphine.